this is one of the best throughout all the palettes in the land. This is it. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I was really enjoying kind of like coppery. I have a bug bite. I don't know. I guess an ant bite. So don't mind that. But um, kind of like coppery colors on my eyes, but then also mixed with kind of taupey silvery shades with it. So I really like that. So I've been doing that with the eyes. Love this lip color. And then just a really good like old school great blush. That's just, it's just a good one. So yeah, got some good things to share with you. If you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore, get ready with me's reviews. Just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button, stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about favorites. So let's get to it. Okay, for eyes, really I would say these three palettes mainly. So for the kind of coppery shades, the Persona color theory copper palette i love this they did send this to me so just fyi thank you to persona this is such a beautiful coppery palette oh my goodness i love it this shade right here star of the show if you're looking for the most amazing copper shade this is one of the best throughout all the palettes in the land this is it so good also swatch this one for you. I'm not wearing that one, but that is just like the perfect fall shade. This is a palette I forgot to put in my fall shadows video. Totally should have though, because it is literally the perfect fall palette. But I love it any time of year because I love coppery, fiery sort of shadow shades. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, so I have this kind of on the outer part, like outer two thirds of my lid, but then I have something over it. So it kind of ends up working with the taupey shades to get this kind of fiery, like soot sort of a look, but you know, wearing it by itself, it's just that straight, really coppery sort of shadow. It's gorgeous. And for the kind of taupey silvery shades, I was reaching for these two palettes. So first off the C color glamorous palette, if you are a cool tone shadow lover, this is a great palette for you. There's also kind of more warm tones in here too, like this one, this one, this one, but there's a lot of cool tone in here. Like this is the main one I was reaching for. So I have a little bit of that on kind of this part of my lid. So pretty. This one is very kind of just gray silver, but then this one is a really pretty kind of like taupey bronze. I love this one for like a night out special occasion or you just want a smoky eye to go wherever to the grocery store or whatever this is gorgeous it's so pretty let me swatch this one just for funsies look how pretty that is the metallic shades in the c color palettes are usually my favorites they just really i don't know stand out because they're so melted metal looking these are wow they are that thicker sort of formula that really just adheres to the lid, builds on itself really well. Um, longevity wise, I find that they wear pretty well, but I always use an eyeshadow primer. So I would say wear an eyeshadow primer with them. But yeah, this shade right here in particular with kind of coppery colors ends up giving this kind of, I say soot, but it's, you know what I mean? Like that fire and soot kind of a look. And I look, it's very sort of smoky, but a fiery smoky look. So pretty. But then this one just for a gorgeous, I mean, I would put that all over my lid and then blend it up into my bronzer in my crease. And that is like a perfect get you out the door sort of an eye look. It's beautiful and so affordable. I can't remember if I said it or not, but C Color did send this to me SPR. So thank you so much to C Color. Okay. And then the last shadow palette that I was reaching for, for those kind of taupey shades, the Rimmel Magnifies Nude Edition. It's been a while since I've played with this particular one. I love these palettes. I think they're awesome, affordable palettes. Regular price, I think they're around, I don't know, it kind of depends on where you get it, like seven to nine or ten dollars or something like that. But some of y'all have told me that you've gotten this for like two or three dollars on a mega sale or whatever. So it's great. It's just a great affordable palette. There are lots of cool toned options in here 
then some really pretty kind of blushy shades like I was reaching for this one with those kind of coppery shades also and then this one this is probably my standout favorite right there such a pretty taupey shade so gorgeous what did my voice just do shade <laughs> it's like I lost that word um and then let's swatch this one right here and I'll swatch a matte shade for y'all it's just a good little affordable palette perfect for every day oh that color's pretty oh that's a good one <laughs> I get excited about makeup y'all you know that about me these are so good I mean especially if you're kind of new to makeup or you just want a good everyday palette that's not, I don't know, difficult to work with or difficult to make it look kind of wearable. This is a great palette for that. So pretty. See, this one in a swatch actually looks a little bit more blushy, almost like a blushy taupey shade. That's just so pretty. I love it. I usually use it with a setting spray to kind of kick it up a notch, but I mean, it's, it's great like that too. It's just a good little palette for blush. This one has been around a long time. CoverGirl Rose Silk. I also, oh, I was gonna say, what's the other color I love? But then my brain just lost it. I was gonna say, is it Rose Silk? But la literally that's this one <laughs> that I just said. Oh man, I can't remember the name of the other one. If I remember and I remember to put that in my note, I'll put it in the description. But anyway, there's another one of these that I really, really like. These are the classic color blushes, but this one is Rose Silk. And it's just a really pretty, like, I don't know how would I would describe this. Um, peachy pink. I will say I would not swatch these a ton because they are that kind of formula that they get hard pan. And they don't swatch well. What is it with, I don't know. CoverGirl blushes just really don't swatch well. They can get hard pan if you swatch them, but I love them. On the cheeks so I have no clue but there it is it's this beautiful glowy warm pink I guess I would say but I feel like on the cheeks it doesn't look as like bubblegum pink or something especially when you wear it with a little bit of bronzer um, like I actually used my bronzer brush kind of to apply it so it's probably got a little bit of bronzer mixed in, in with it but it's just so glowy and beautiful and a good formula I really love it and that's so weird how some Blush formulas just really don't swatch well, but then they're gorgeous when you put them on your cheeks. This is one of them. It's great. And then I wore this little um, shadow as a cheek highlight this week, and I love it as a highlighter. It's so pretty. It's really pretty on the eyes, too. I got this in my Ipsy bag. This is the Ciate London Metallic Eyeshadow in Peach Party. This is so cute. I love this cute little tiny eyeshadow. That's adorable. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful on the eyes and it's beautiful as a highlighter. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just a metallic. I mean, I say just, but it's, it's really gorgeous. I mean, it's not just, oh, there it goes. It's not just, I don't know. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's a beautiful, glowy, metallic, peachy shade. I was going to say it's just a peachy eyeshadow, which it is, but I feel like it's just a really gorgeous version of that. There you go. Wrapping it all up. Look how it catches the light. So pretty. I went very light handed on my cheekbones because it is a metallic shadow. It's got a lot of sheen to it. Can accentuate texture for sure, especially if you build it up a lot. Um, but I just applied it really lightly and it's very, very pretty. And last up for lips. Once again, another item I should have included in my fall makeup suggestions, picks, whatever videos, but I should have included this. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in Chase Dreams. This is such a beautiful, like, how would I describe this? Berry, like a purpley berry color, but it's not super duper deep. It's kind of, it's not like that oxblood, which I love. I love an oxblood color, but this is like a deep rose, purpley berry but on kind of a mid-tone um, side. So beautiful. I love the formula of these. Super low maintenance, easy, throw them in your purse, like a lip liner and a lipstick in one, long wearing. To me, they don't feel dry. They just kind of feel like nothing on the lips. So I find them to be just really low maintenance, easy, and a great formula, and I love this color. They are very scented, like a sweet, 
sort of a just strong smell, but they smell good, but they do have that strong scent to them. But yeah, isn't that the most beautiful color? And I think it does go well with this makeup, but also you could just, you know, do a very simple eye look and a winged liner, you know, it's pretty that way too. It's good. Okay guys, so those are all my favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.